I am happy to say, and perhaps you're not happy to know, that it's tarantula season in Texas. I did not know we had such a thing. <laughs> but yes, the creepy crawlers are coming out, looking for love. People are finding them in yards, garages, even houses. Kaylee Nichols, Katie from the Houston Museum of Natural Science is here with some of her best friends. Yes. And, and, and we're going to enjoy them and love on them this morning as well. Okay, first things first, I see you just pick that tarantula up like it's no big deal. Is it dangerous? No. So these guys are totally not dangerous. Uh, the worst thing that honestly I would worry about is all of these little hairs that cover her body. They're called urticating hairs. Uh, and that's actually one of their main forms of defense. So when they get scared, they don't want to bite you. If they bite you, that means they're probably not going to be able to eat for a while. So mm -hmm. they can kick these little hairs out, and that it kind of just feels beauty. like... Yes, of course. So okay. just both hands out, right. and she's a walker, okay. not okay. a talker. Okay. Uh, so if she starts to walk, just kind of let her so follow So what does she do hand. with these little, these little hairs? So she kicks these hairs out, and okay. it kind of feels like fiberglass, quite frankly, yeah. which doesn't sound that right, bad. Lovely. But just keep your cute little hairs to yourself. Yeah, and be yeah she's good. She's good. Uh, <laughs> oh but yeah, picture gosh. like fiberglass yeah. in your eyes. It's not... So the most in fun North thing Texas, in the world. we know well about tarantula season <laughs> because we would have, growing up, I had to actually, our family would drive slowly to drive around them because they were in the highways. We don't see oh, that as much wow. here. Oh, wow. No, I've a, a never thing. seen one. Where would you find one here? So for the most part, so we do have 14 species of tarantulas in wow. Texas. Mm -hmm. um, right, you can find you them. Oh, you got this. You got this. You got this. I'm supposed to close my eyes oh, so I don't Sally, get the hair in my this eyes. Is, I feel like a proud mom right now. I had a girl. Sticky feet, but it's <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh You're doing gosh. so good. Yeah, You're doing so good. It can smell pheromones, so chill out. Okay, no, I'm nice. just you did, you, did, you did great. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Oh, but yeah, so, so you can proud. find these guys for the most part in central and north Texas. Uh, and tarantula season is going to be starting in May, so we are well into tarantula season. Oh, do they come uh, out at night? Yes, yeah, so they are nocturnal okay. for the most part. And honestly, the only ones that you're really going to mm -hmm. see are the males mm -hmm. uh, because they're out there looking for love. <laughs> now, they don't spin a web. You're not going to see them above you. They're going to be in the ground, That's right? right. Mm -hmm. So, interestingly enough, they do have spinnerets and they do produce silk. Um, but they are going to primarily spend most of their lives in a burrow. Mm -hmm. uh, then they will make a cute little hammock in yeah. their burrow, mm -hmm. uh, but no, no webs. Okay, Katie, we got to get to, Kaylee, I'm sorry, we got to okay. get to these, these next two here. So I figured we, we would go. bring out some other friends yeah. too. Now, these are not native, so uh, if you find this guy in Texas, <laughs> um, <laughs> boy. if it's someone did leaf. something wrong. <laughs> so this is called a giant long leg Katie did. It's so beautiful, isn't so it? I love it. These really guys so also cool. look for love in different ways. Um, so these are wings. So she has really wow. great. Uh, she is she. Uh, she has really great camouflage on her wings. One of the things that I really like about her is as she gets older, her wings start to look more and more like a decaying leaf. Uh -huh. um, but those wings. Not for flying. Uh -huh. They're actually really great at flopping. Yeah, we have to, uh, we're out of time, but we quickly <laughs> got to tell you this is our Alice beetle, our this another, is another Malaysian species, oh, one of the strongest species goodness. of beetles. This Do you is want to so hold her? Cool. Is this like a really hard exoskeleton? So that's oh, called a <laughs> spicy. Like that well, you don't like it because it grabs on and it will not let oh go. No. I mean, this is a latcher. <laughs> I thought it was going to jump. Does it jump? <laughs> no, he's not a good okay, jumper. I'll say hi to this guy. I like this guy. Ooh, he's this so was cool. so fun. Good, I'm Thanks for coming. It. You gotta bring show and tell more often. Yeah, of course. We have all kinds of species that we bring out for outreach program programming at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. That's awesome. Uh, if you have a uh, need for any more information, just visit us at hmns.org. Uh, and we are so excited to all see right. you. Thank you again. So Thanks, guys. Happy Thank summer. You, really. Oh, this is great. Oh, I'm, I'm very she comfortable. You're just so good. Yeah, I like that one. Okay.